God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Brothers and sisters, this is your brother John Ramirez. I just reaching out, let you know I was in California the past couple of days, this past Sunday. I preached my heart out. 200 people came. Man, the Holy Spirit moved. I, I was not wearing masks. I was not wearing any gloves. I wasn't going. I pray for every person to lay hands on people because of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer. The one that heals sickness, the one that set the captives free, the one that breaks bondages and stronghold. If he, if he can set the captives free, if he touched the ten lepers and all got healed, how much more we have the same power inside of us. So I just want to encourage you. I was this past Sunday, the 14th of June. I just got back yesterday. A little tired. I got to go out tomorrow to Pittsburgh. I'm preaching on live TV, Cornerstone TV. But I just want to encourage you to let you know that be fearless, be untouchable, be unmovable. You have the Holy Spirit living in you. I, I, ble I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Messiah, the Christ, the Son of the living God. I just want to reach out today and let you know that the e-course is still available. Go to my website, johnramirez.org. Man, sign up for the e-course. People are learning so much spiritual warfare. They're breaking stronghold bondages, besetting sin. They're breaking patterns and cycles of the devil. I'm reaching out and letting you know the, the e-course. Invest on yourself. The e-course is available. You can sign up and, and do your thing and learn, 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 learn. Even David, King David told the Lord, teach my hands to war. That means teach me spiritual warfare because my enemy is all around me 24-7 every day, all day. We need to understand that there's a devil out there that we need to fight. We need to disarm. We need to dismantle. I mean, you see for yourself the COVID-19. You see for yourself all these situations that are going around the world, all these demonic activities going on now the witches have served notice to the church not to the world but to the church the witches have served notice to the church that's why i'm here today they're serving notice they're challenging the church they said june 21st july 21st that they're gonna pray and they're gonna they're gonna pray but uh they're gonna use the moons and the stars uh to get their powers that means i mean the moons and the stars in the second heaven means the principalities that's what they're talking about the, they, these witches know what they're doing. They are provoking the number 21. That means the number 21 is the devil's number, which is 21 represents snake, cobra, co serpent, python. That's what they represent. You remember that in the book of Genesis, in the book of Genesis, you know that the person that tempted Adam and Eve was, was a snake. That's what they're trying to use. The devil has many names, but the number one name that the devil has or uses as a system for himself and his kingdom is number 21. But today I'm coming against those witches and I'm standing with the body of Christ, my brothers and sisters. We're going to disarm these witches. We're going to put fire into their camp. We're going to put spiritual warfare fire. They're going to learn how to respect the name of the Lord Jesus Christ once and for all. So I'm teaching you right now and I'm, I'm educating you in the spirit realm. That the number these witches know what they're doing. They invoking the number 21. That's what they're doing June 21st and July 21st. That's what they're doing. And they know that in July, June 21st and July 21st. Yeah, I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, I know what I know what I'm saying. I used to use that number. You have to have a you have to have to have permission from the devil to use that number and to use the second heaven to expose witchcraft around the regions, around the state. They're trying to come against the church. They're not coming against the world. The world is already in the pocket of the devil, but not us. We are the church of Jesus Christ. We are special up. We're spiritual snipers. And I'm telling you, today, 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 right now, we come in an agreement with the Holy Spirit. We come in an agreement to let, let the witches know that whatever they have planned will be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Whatever they got planned, we're going to dismantle. The bands and scrolls, that means the, the, uh, the, the, the plan of the enemy that they got in for the 21st of June and the 21st of July. We're going to destroy it. That's why we need to destroy it now. We need to go into the spirit round now. Not wait until June 21st or July 21st to start the spiritual warfare. No, we get our arsenals from heaven now. We get the strategies from heaven now. We, we aim our arsenal. We are spiritual snipers for Jesus Christ. And we we're not going to let these witches get what they want. We're not going to let these witches come against the White House, come against Trump. We're not going to let these witches come against the church because the church has been, already has been oppressed, has been depressed by the, by the governors, these pharaohs, these no good people that are agents of the devil. But us, as the body of Christ, us, as they've been sanctified, washing the blood of Jesus Christ, us, 
They've been, they've been handpicked by the almighty God. We're going to stand as army, as generals, as, as, as the army, the elite of Jesus Christ. And we're going to put these witches, we're going to teach these witches today with these prayers that they're going to respect once and for all. They're going to bow down to the cross of Jesus Christ. And they're going to know that, that there is power in heaven, in the third heaven. Not in the second what they're trying to use. We're going to destroy the works of the second heaven. And we're going to destroy everything on the ground. And we're going to bring everything down to nothing. And they're going to learn that they're going to honor and respect the church of Jesus Christ here on the earth. Because the Lord has left us here to fight the good fight. Not to relax. Not to be drinking the Kool-Aid. Not to drink, eat a soft gospel. God has called us here today. God has called us here to fight. The words say fight the good fight of faith. Paul said that in 2 Timothy, Paul stated in 2 Timothy, he told Timothy, I fought the good fight. I fought the good fight. Paul didn't say, oh, I had ice cream, or oh, I, had, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich throughout my journey. I stopped by and I had a smoothie. Paul never said that. Paul said, I fought the good fight. And so we. And we're going to come against these witches right now in the name of Jesus. That's why that e-course that is out there in my website, that's why I, it's not about... Uh, a few dollars that you invest in yourself. It's about being armed and dangerous for Jesus Christ, being vessels of honor, being arrows in the quiver of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when he pulled that arrow, he can, he can know that he can use it and bring havoc into the devil's camp. We are the arrows in the quiver of the Lord Jesus Christ. When he pull you, we do damage. We, we do damage against the kingdom of darkness. We destroy the kingdom of darkness. We pulverize those devils. We, 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 we cut them at the root. We let them shrub up and die. And that's what's going to happen today. So witches, listen to me. I put you on notice in the name of Jesus Christ. I put every witch, every warlock, I put every demonic soothsayer, root worker, whatever you call yourself, voodoo man, voodoo lady, whatever you call high priestess, whatever you call yourself, I come against you. I break your order in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm attacking you from the third heaven, not from the second, where, where nothing happened. From the third, where all things happen. I'm attacking you from the third heaven, from Jesus Christ. Sit in the highest of the highest of the uh, highest and the highest of the heavens. That means that every witch, devil, walla, every demonic stronghold, every demonic witchcraft spell, incantations, everything that you have going for the 21st of June and the 21st of July, I destroy with the blood of Jesus. I release angels from Michael's quarter right now to start destroying your camp. I put havoc in your camp. I put the blood of Jesus in your camp. I put the blood of Jesus on your arsenals in the name of Jesus Christ. I paralyze every demonic force in the second heaven. I confuse their languages. They will not communicate with you. I make them dumb and mute in the name of Jesus Christ. I put the fire of God upon those devils in the name of Jesus Christ. I put the judgments and called upon those devils that they're going to use on the 21st of June and the 21st of July. I confuse the devil's camp. Let the devils today start attacking one another. I pulverize your plans and evil plans and schemes in your wild of, your, of the enemy be destroyed with the blood of Jesus Christ. I hit the, every devil, every witch, every warlock, every susha, every root, root worker, every demonic, every demonic contract that you have. I destroy your contract. Every astral projecting devil in the region of all 50 states. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I burn you I burn your civil court you will not ask to project that night you will not ask to project on the 21st of June you will not ask to project on the July 21st you will not ask to project I break the civil court I break the contract between you and the demon that had signed you to ask to project I confuse I bring I bring animosity I bring fire I bring confusion upon the devil's camp in the name of Jesus Christ father I pray let the fire of God come down on every region. Father God, every region right now, every demonic altar, the same fire that came down when Elijah called fire from heaven. Let that same fire in every region that has, has an altar, a demonic altar, be destroyed today, be pulverized. Let those devils get sick in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them get sick. Let them be, let the infirmity spirit fall upon them. And they will not be able to get out the deathbeds in the name of Jesus Christ. Let judgment come, Father God. We don't wish no one to die, but everyone to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. But judgment has to come before mercy come and I declare judgment upon them in the name of Jesus Christ so they can come to repent that's the only way these witches are going to repent when they see themselves that judgment came in Jesus name father right now in the name of, I cover every region warn angels my coach quarter angels from my coach quarter I cover the region with angels ch chariots of fire in Jesus name I pulverize every demonic devil I pull fires of chariot around the White House around the White House around every person that wants to have the right heart for this country I put 
the fire of God upon their hearts, upon their people, upon their loved ones, upon the ministry of Donald Trump. I put the fire of God right now in the name of, upon the White House, upon upon the North, the South, the East, and the West. In the name of, I paralyze every devil that's trying to operate in the North, the South, the East, and the West. I cancel your assignment. I uproot every demonic stronghold. I uproot every demonic bondage. I uproot every foul wicked spirit that you have released in that area. I put the judgment of God. I send the hound dogs from heaven to look for those demons right now and destroy them all in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring cages from Michael's quarter to cage up every devil that day on the 21st of June, the 21st of July. I cage up those devils in the name of Jesus Christ and I pour the blood of Jesus in those cages. Let them be tormented night and day in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I release these prayers with the fire of the Holy Spirit, Father God. I release these prayers to the north, the south, the east, and the west, and the 50 states, Father God. And I pray that these witches will cry out for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ those two days. They will cry for mercy in those two days. The fire of God will be upon them. Lord, pulverize these devils. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, confuse them right now. Confuse them right now. And I pray right now that every saint, every church, the White House, every believer, every person, that love Jesus Christ, every person had committed themselves to Jesus Christ, would take these prayers and take these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ and make them your own. And in every region where you at, every region where you, God has planted you in the name of Jesus Christ, every region where God has planted you in the name of Jesus Christ, you be a vessel, a warlock, you be a, a, a man of war, a woman of war, and, and go after those warlocks, and go after those witches in your region, and shut down those heavens. I shut them down already, but you know what? Two, one will put a thousand to flight, and two will put 10,000 to flight, in the name of Jesus Christ. So I, right now, I command the army of God to rise up like Ezekiel, when he spoke in Ezekiel 38. I command those bones to come to life. I command those, the, the flesh will come onto your bones. I command fire will come onto your bone in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that the arsonists of heaven will be resting upon you, that you will release fire in your region. You will release judgment upon your region. You will release it against those witches and those warlocks that think that they're going to get the upper hand on the 21st of June. And they think they're going to get the upper hand on the 21st of July. The devil is a liar. And they, they, their assignment and their strategies and their evil plans have been avoided by Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and Father God. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Love you. Your brother, John Ramirez, wanted to stand with you on this. I know this is we're in serious time, but our God is more serious and our God is bigger than the times we're in. We serve a mighty God. We serve an awesome God. We serve a God that never, never lose a battle, a war, a fight. We love you. I love you. In Jesus' name, go get the e-course. Go to my website. Invest in yourself. Be God's best. Armed and dangerous. Love you. Talk to you soon.